So Craig, a lot of times when candidates do the interview, they get an email from the company saying that we really appreciate, we like you, but culturally you're not a fit. So what does that really mean in terms of the employer, what they are saying to the candidate? So it means that you probably wouldn't want to work there anyway in the first place, because companies that are still using terms like culture fit and culture match are doing it wrong. They're really outdated, right? We want diverse culture. And so saying that you're not a culture fit doesn't really play into the possibility of that. It's a bad mindset um, to start with. So I'm not a fan. I think they're bad words. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, you know, I like companies that are open to a wide array of personalities. And so culture fits just a crutch. And it really just means that you're not a fit for whatever reason. And they're not going to tell you what the real reason is. Sometimes I feel that companies are open to a variety of people, as you mentioned, and especially nowadays, DNI is playing a key part, but uh, they want mini me. If they bring someone outside thinker or creative and they are not, they feel that there will be a clash, right? So I just did a, a podcast on uh, Inside Talent, my podcast, with Jenny Cody Kangas, and she and Mike Batman Cohen had been talking about the idea of the mirror and the window. So yeah. when uh, companies hire many me's or managers hire many me's, that's the mirror effect. You just want someone that's like yourself. What you should be doing is considering the population of potentials out the window, right? And so you're looking at a green field of possibilities. And so that's the mindset that employers should have. Uh, hiring someone just like you doesn't really get you very far. What you're going to end up doing is promoting yourself beyond your own station. And so why companies are afraid then to hire people outside thinkers? Is it the mindset, as you said, or is it from the top management so I think top management uh, generally wants to check the boxes of having a, a diverse culture within the organization. I think some of them really want to have a diverse organization, um, but it comes down to generally the hiring manager, right? So that's the person with the, uh, the power to say yes or no at the end of the day, even if it's a team interview environment, mm -hmm. even if you have people from different parts of the organization and you have a process to reach the right conclusion, mm -hmm. it's still going to be swayed one way or another by the hiring manager. They have the budget, they have, you know, what they think is the right skill set in mind. And unfortunately, it takes a lot of uh, work in order to you know, get hiring managers in line because they've got deadlines to meet. They've got projects to finish, right? And so they, they're thinking about themselves uh, and, and that's human nature. Yeah. So what we have to do is elevate that mindset to thinking about the, the organization as a bigger picture. And there's some companies that are very good at that. Thank you for those great tips, Greg. I really appreciate that. And again, for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other tips, please leave comments below and tune in next time for my final question with Craig.